Hello and welcome to this Tales from the Hut and Hangar Aviation Rarities episode about the Lock Spizer LDA-01 Boxer 500. The plane with the back-to-front look is the LDA-1, or Land Development Aircraft. This unconventional plane was designed and built by ex-fighter pilot David Lock Spizer and is a three-quarter size prototype. LDA-1 has a container space, easily utilised for carrying anything from food supplies to passengers. Lock Spicer claims that whatever a Land Rover can do on the ground, the LDA will do in the air. The prototype, built for under £3,000, is designed for use with wheels, floats or skis. The placing of the rear engine gives the pilot a better view and a quieter life. LDA-1 may look backward, but with all its advantages, it could prove a forward idea for underdeveloped countries. David Lockspizer was the man behind the LDA-01. He was born the 12th of April 1927, and that's my birthday as well, but uh, 35 years later. He studied aircraft design at the Miles Aeronautical Technical School and Hawker Sidley between 1945 and 1949. During RAF service, he flew with the 118 and 245 fighter squadrons. After RAF service, he worked for Hawker Aircraft Limited as a test pilot, flying various aircraft and programs, but mostly on the Hawker Hunter. Talking of the Hunter, I have covered this in previous podcasts, and I will put up a link in this episode's description. David then went on to join the Civil Aircraft Division of BAC, and next he joined Lockheed Aircraft Services in Singapore as a test pilot, working closely with the Singapore Air Force on their Hawker Hunters. As a full spare time private venture over many years, he designed and built with assistance the LDA-01. That took to the air in 1971, and here is a nice film about the aircraft narrated by David himself. The first flight of the prototype Boxer land development aircraft introduced into the single-engine utility aircraft category new dimensions of versatility, safety and simplicity, designed to meet worldwide demands that so far have not been met by the world's aircraft manufacturers. From various configurations investigated, the tandem wing layout was chosen because it can combine efficiency and simplicity with safe flying characteristics. Following wind tunnel investigation, a 7 tenth sized proof of concept aircraft was built, flown and upon which all the development work to date has been carried out. The aircraft is shown in this video during various stages of development. The all-up weight of the Boxer is in the order of £4,000, depending upon the version and choice of engine, and has an average disposable load of one tonne. The initial design was based on a Lycoming 290 horsepower engine, however any engine, either piston or turbine, up to 450 horsepower could be fitted. Greater safety is achieved by combining exceptional visibility from the cockpit with a low noise and vibration level, an advantage of the rear-mounted engine. This results in a cockpit having a lower fatigue level and in particular benefit when low flying. For the initial program, the aircraft was fitted with an 85 horsepower Continental engine and had a four-wheeled undercarriage having Ackerman steering that enabled it to taxi with precision over the removable center fuselage pannier. This may be of a variety of types, carrying cargo, stress air relief, supply dropping, firefighting and many other roles. This four-leg undercarriage arrangement is also used to enable floats to be fitted. As the foreplane is designed to stall before the main plane, and the latter carries the primary roll and pitch controls, the aircraft has exceptionally good low-speed handling and ultra-safe stalling characteristics. Wind tunnel tests were used to develop this, and flight trials confirmed the docile behaviour. With the stick held fully aft, the nose gave a gentle nibble as the foreplane stalled and unstalled, descending power off and climbing with power applied. There is no danger entering the cockpit or loading and unloading passengers or cargo while the engine is kept running, as these activities take place well forward, separated and protected by the wings from the propeller. Simplicity has been the guide in this design to ease manufacture and assembly. Built from light alloy and steel tube, 
The prototype was designed structurally as well as aerodynamically to be a proof-of-concept research aircraft. The three-section fuselage, front, center, and rear, enables ease of servicing and fitting replacement sections, either for repair or changing roles. The wing panels, control surfaces, fins and rudders are made from light alloy in the conventional manner with ribs, spar, and stress skin, typical of the type with which general aviation aircraft maintenance facilities around the world are familiar. This enables small repairs to be carried out in the field by crew members with a repair kit of light alloy sheet and hand tools. The Boxer has a higher commonality of components than any other aircraft. All three wing panels of constant cord and section are identical, as are the six associated control surfaces, and both fins and rudders are identical. The simplicity of structure, combined with an unprecedented degree of component interchangeability, means a substantial reduction in tooling and production costs, which in turn results in a significant cost saving to the operator in his reduced spares holding inventory. Versatility is achieved by having unrestricted positioning of the load up to one ton, 1,000 kilograms, either in the pannier or the 250 cubic foot, seven cubic meter, box-shaped cargo area. The doors enable a truck to back up, load and unload directly into the fuselage as access is unobstructed and unhindered by wing lift struts, tapering fuselages or sloping floor lines. The center of gravity range, around four times that of a conventional aircraft, means that in practical terms, that if the aircraft is standing on its wheels, it is safe to fly. A boxer can carry all its own spare parts, all being stoned internally, except for the wing panels, which are carried externally on the underside of the fuselage. So for even the smallest fleet operator, complete independence from other types of aircraft or service vehicles is achieved. For long-term storage or shipping, all three wing panels may be attached externally on a fuselage luggage rack, the remainder of the components being housed internally. The aircraft may be taxied in this state. The major amongst many changes made at the first development stage included replacing the engine with one of 160 horsepower, fitting a tricycle undercarriage and the side loading doors. The final stage of development, bringing the aircraft to the anticipated production configuration, was directed towards improving performance and handling by fitting new wingtip mounted fins and rudders, simplifying the control system, increasing the area of the four plane wingtips, and reducing drag, most notably of the cockpit. The three section fuselage means that to suit a particular role or application for which the aircraft is to be used, Variations only of the appropriate part of the structure need be changed. For example, different cockpit configurations or fuselage center sections, the side loading door version for passengers and cargo, the removable pannier which, with rear hinge, allows the forward end to be lowered, forming a scoop to take aboard liquids such as water for firefighting. The drawings show the standard airframe, also fitted with floats, and a fuselage center section specially designed for tourism, photographic survey, and movie making. The development potential of the basic airframe is very great, both in respect of enhancing the performance through changes in engine and propeller, the fitting of high lift devices, and in the many roles it could fulfill, equipped for operations from land, sea, or snow. The aerodynamic configuration, performance and handling characteristics have been defined on a sound basis of calculation, wind tunnel investigation and flight test, research for much greater depth than is customary for this category of aircraft. Simple, safe and inexpensive, it is a uniquely versatile utility, having enormous development potential to meet the worldwide range of applications. It was nice finding some great films about one of my aircraft subjects for a change, because normally it was difficult. After watching that film, I can't find anything wrong about it really. The LDA-01 and proposed aircraft would have been aerial Land Rovers with multiple capabilities. As mentioned in the film, everything was thought of for simplicity of building, repairs and operations. The single LDA-01 Golf Alpha Victor Oscar Romeo first flew on the 24th of August 1971 at Wisley in Surrey, England. 
The aircraft was later re-registered Golf Uniform Tango India Lima after many modifications and improvements, including tricycle undercarriage. It was also renamed the Boxer 500. And now some aircraft details. It had a crew of one, its length was 22 foot 6 inches, its wing spans were 13 foot, its height was 10 foot 3 inches, its wing area was 108.8 .8 square foot, its empty weight was 1,237 pound, gross weight was 1,600 and 16 pound its maximum takeoff weight was 1700 pound and its fuel capacity was 30 imperial gallons two fuel tanks fore and after the cargo bay power plant one continental c85 piston engine and later fitted with a lycomin 0 320 d1a four cylinder air-cooled piston engine 160 horsepower the propeller was a hoffman hov 72 and it was 5 foot 9 inches in diameter and a constant speed metal pusher propeller. Performance cruising speed of 92 knots, stall speed of 42 knots and had a range of 403 miles. Planned production was to be done by Brooklyn's Aerospace at Old Sarum Airfield but sadly the LDA-01 was destroyed and the project was also killed off in a factory arson attack on the 16th of January 1987. Also 10 Edgley Opticas, another unusual British aircraft type were also destroyed. David Lockspizer was a very talented man and he sadly passed away on the 23rd of March 2014 and I think the LDA-01 was a fantastic idea ahead of its time. I do say this about a few of the aircraft I've covered on this channel but this one was really special. As I said before I think it's a terrific aircraft so please leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, whatever. Uh, the feedback's always appreciated and um, again thanks for listening and uh, See you soon.